Let's be honest, React has always been the best library to build websites. Wait, React Native? Let's dive into React Native. In this video, I'm going to go through a presentation about React Native, so stay tuned and follow for more. I'm going to be showcasing a demo app as well. Let's get into it. Introduction to React Native. What is React Native? Mobile app development with JavaScript is essentially what it is. React Native is a framework for building mobile applications using JavaScript and React. So this is actually built with the React library. It uses the React library concepts, which allows you to build multiple platforms to iOS and Android using your React JS skills over to a React Native environment. What can you build with React Native? You can build social media apps. The popular choice for building social media apps is React Native, actually. And it's smooth and it's responsive. It, it's very nice. You can import a specific UI libraries which you like. And it allows developers to easily integrate features like real-time updates, push notifications, etc and social share. You can also build e-commerce apps with React Native. Developers can create high-performance commerce apps that provide seamless shopping experience. So if you're building a shop, uh, like a, if you don't want to use Shopify, you can build your own e-commerce app or build something for your business. That's great. Productivity apps, React Native also is well suited for productivity apps. You can build productivity apps anytime you like and the integration of calendars and task management tools is simply easy to do. You can build, so these are the concepts which you can do. You can build social network apping, I mean apps. You can build e-commerce apps. You can build travel apps, food delivery apps, fitness apps, gaming apps, whatever you can think about. That's what you can do with React Native. Popular apps built with React Native. So popular apps develop with React Native. You've got Facebook, you've got Pinterest, you've got Skype, you've got Instagram, and you've got Uber Eats. These are the most popular apps today which have been using React Native for their mobile app uh, development environment. So let's get into this introduction on this basic app setup. So I've got my warp terminal here. So let's actually try and set up the environment that we're going to be uh, basically just set up for, like a simple project. Yeah. Okay. So to create a React Native app, you do basically MPX, create Expo app, my app, and then that's it. Start it. It's going to load and it's going to start a React app, uh, a React Native app for you so that you can, it's already going to set up the environment and then you can get started building your app. This is going to take a while, so just sit back and relax and drink some coffee. So how do we run the iOS app? Well, we can just type in expo start and essentially this will start. So anyways, we can actually open up the JavaScript file. So I'm actually looking at the website and they actually recommend to use yarn. Um, yeah, so I made a mistake. They say use it instead of npm or npx. So uh, we might need to use uh, yarn create expo. Okay, now we do yarn create expo. Okay. App. Expo app. Right, oops. Boom. Okay, so now we're going to be creating an expo app. And uh, that's going to go ahead and get started. Okay, now we can actually do it properly. So we can go CD app. Now we're back into it. Now we can go code dot and actually open it up. And now we can open up the app JS file and have a look at it. Yeah. So let's go here and let's go boom boom. Oops. And uh, let's do yarn iOS. That's going to go ahead and do expo start iOS. And now it's actually going to open up the app um, on an iPhone 15 Pro Max on my laptop. And now we can see here, it's gonna open up the demo app and we can get started building an app, okay? Expo, go to iPhone, would you like to upgrade? Yes, so make sure that everything is up to date and the version of Expo is up to date and all these things or else it's not gonna work, right? So now it's actually gonna go install the Expo Go app on the iPhone and which allows us to actually open up our demo app. And here we go, it's bundling it and it's gonna work. And now we can actually start our app and we can start building an app. So it says here, open up to start working on your app. Now we can start working on it. So like, check this out. We can say, hello world, or hello world. There we go. Hi there, how's it going? See, now we can see that, you see that? Hi there, how's it going? So now we can actually see that result. So what I suggest is, is 
what I suggest is that you go through the documentation, you watch a few YouTube videos. I might do a YouTube video on building a simple app in React Native. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next.